Okay, so welcome to the PHP community discussion, language lawyer debate about the virtues of echo versus print. The functionality, what these two commands do is identical. They will both take what is passed to them and process it through PHP and out into the generated HTML. The print command, however, is a function. Uh, we don't know about functions yet, we will, but as a function, it can only take a single parameter, that is a single value to act upon. Whereas echo can take multiple values. And so in the, uh, in the little code snippet here, where I say print, this is a print statement in a single string, is the limit for the print command. You, you must give it a single parameter. But the echo command, I can give it a set of strings. So echo, this is an echo statement, is actually passed to the echo command as five separate strings delineated by commas. And the echo command interprets this and spits out the single output, this is an echo statement. Now, to be fair to the print function, we could do the same thing using the concatenation operator, the dot, the period, where this adds strings together. And because the precedence of this operator is higher than the function call to print, the, the five strings, this is a print statement, they will be added together to create a single string that is then passed to the print statement. So again, functionally, print and echo are identical. Use one or the other, it really makes no difference. Now, when you get out into deeper commitment or a deeper involvement with the PHP community, you're gonna hear arguments about echo being faster. Under extreme loads, because you're not going to find it in everyday use, and there is no evidence that it is faster in everyday use, but under extreme loads, there has been published experimental results that suggest that echo is about 18% faster than print. But again, that's not an everyday usage. It was under extreme loads. So anyway, my opinion is use one or the other. It really makes no difference, whichever one you're comfortable with. But anyway, welcome to the debate. So a more serious uh, consideration is single versus double quotes. Um, single quotes will not, will not interpret any values or special characters that are contained within the quotes. The common description of a single quote is that it represents whatever's in it as is. Whatever is enclosed within the single quotes is represented as is. There is no interpretation. Now, this is in contrast to the double quotes, where if we insert a variable name within the double quotes, the PHP preprocessor will interpret that variable name, go to memory, get the value that's contained in that variable, and put it in place of the variable name inside the double quotes. Likewise with special characters such as the new line character or the tab character. Those will be interpreted within the double quotes, but again, not within the single quotes. So let's go look at some code. Okay, so just a, a quick demonstration of the differences between the single quote and the double quote in our PHP code. So here's a little snippet where I create a variable and in that variable I am storing the value PHP. And then I have an echo command that is in using single quotes saying I am learning and then the variable my variable. Then I have a break and I again use an echo command and this time the double quotes, and I say, I am learning my variable, um, the variable, my variable. And so let's see how this prints out in our HTML. So again, I saved this. Again, my environment is probably different than yours. I saved this locally because I'm running on a Windows 2008 R2 server with IIS installed and PHP configured a PHP preprocessor configured. So running this locally, I reload the page, and you'll notice that 
the single quotes printed the string as it appears in the code. It did not interpret the variable, my variable. It did not go to memory. It did not go and get the value that was stored in that variable. Instead, it printed what I put in the, the single quotes as is. And in contrast to that, in the double quotes, where I have the variable called in there as well, but in this case, the double quotes tell the PHP preprocessor, hey, interpret this variable for me. Go get its value and put that value here instead of the variable name.